Starting the game in three, two, (laughs) one. Okay, so you guys are sitting, uh, the the, the scene as it is set, it is fucking pitch black. Who here has dark vision? Not me. Fuck off, bitches! No, gnomes have dark vision. Then why didn't you guys raise your hands? I don't have dark vision. I'm not a gnome. Yeah, he doesn't. I said, ooh. Oh, that's right. Okay. You were raised Ooh, by no. is not, not raising a hand, all right? <laughs> well, Carpe didn't raise his hand, but he should have. I said, he decided Ooh. to make. Yeah. That doesn't count. <laughs> because future, nobody can raise their hand on a podcast. Oh, that's true. Uh, yeah. Just because they can't see it doesn't mean they can't do it, sir. Well, now everyone knows. Every last listener and hand. viewer of this show who has dark vision in real life just raised their hand. Good. It's a very valuable skill to have if you can see very well. Damn, but have, straight. You, have, you guys have dark vision in real life? Yes. Maybe That's I do, maybe I don't. I, work, <laughs> I, work, I, work, I actually, I actually wear glasses because having dark vision gives me trouble seeing in the light. That's just because we're all terrible with computers. You ever computers. notice how I don't need my glasses when there's no light? People. I figured that was just because of the darkness in Grant's soul. That too. Aww. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the right. of us is black, except for those of us with dark vision, which is uh, everybody except Matt. Dan, I you are sitting. Vision, you are yeah. sitting in a in a in a. It is it is it is solid, uncomfortable, jagged rock. It is. Well, here's dead. a question. It is wet. All right. Yeah. Um. Yep. And and it is very much not cut. There is there is no comfortable place to sit here. Period. Uh, Scrabble uh, around. Actually, yes, there is. There is an unconscious dwarf. <laughs> I sit on the door. It's stinky, but it's I'm soft. I'm in my own cage. Oh wait, are we all in the same cage? We're all we're well, like we're all in the same cage. All right. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. we were all in our each own individual cages. Okay. No. How hung, on a scale of one to Jesus fuck? How hungover am I right now? Jesus <laughs> fuck. Plus Pity three. is like seriously. Is there some like other Jesus? Word? Like Jitty Jitty teases fuck. He's oh, a duck Christ. Am I actually awake? Legit question, or am I you just are, least you are, you are starting to wake up, okay? So it's dark. And there's a man. Uh, Dan, dark. you can't see shit, but you're getting the idea that, uh, you're getting the idea that there, that there is, uh, that there is, are other living things in this cage. Uh, you're a human, so you probably can't see too good, huh? You can't see shit all in here, though. Do you do anything about that? Who, me? Yes, you. Uh, I don't think there is anything I can do about it unless I already have... Unless I have a familiar on standby. Do you? Is that a spell? Yes. Okay, so, uh, do you have to have material components ready to cast that spell? I don't need to cast... If you assume that I have already cast it at some point, then no. Okay, well, we can assume that you've already cast it, because that's the spell that you bought with your gear cash right yeah yeah you can it could be a spell that you've cast before so you're gonna you're gonna cast this familiar spell all right yeah, yeah. so all right, so how does, I'm, this, not how does ca- this look? I'm not gonna cast a spell at all i'm just gonna poof there's my familiar that was in the pocket dimension waiting for me to summon it would you say that this is a magical ability to the answer to my question it, is yes but well probably yes yeah okay yeah so what should happen here in this dark cave is poof there's a familiar instead uh like it, 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 it's almost like there is a okay you know how like you, you give uh you give like a like a like a really rowdy like it's it's horrible you're not supposed to do this but you give like a shot collar whatever something bad happens pss, right oh okay yeah okay so, so you gotta cast this spell and pss, ah shit and your spell not only doesn't work but you are ah shit still not casting a spell though it's close enough yes you are you're doing something magical but it's not actually a spell. I'm just utilizing the effects of a spell that I cast at some unspecified previous date. Correct. And by attempting to utilize the effects of a spell cast at an, un- at an unspecified previous date, you get, pssst, oh, shit! As a matter See, of fact, because you were an sense. argumentative asshat, you're going to get, pssst, oh, shit, twice, because the shit's malfunctioning. Yeah, now now the guy controlling the buzzer's pissed off at yeah, you, just so you know, because you <laughs> argue with him. Um. <laughs> oh. By proxy. Ow. Bell. Ow. Don't forget by proxy. Yeah, I learned that when I tried to make fun of the guard. <laughs> so, so I'm waking up. You're waking up. If he got bzzz, ow, is he still sitting on me? Could no. he even see to sit on me? 
No, I thought I'm around. sitting on you. The gnome oh, you is sitting, sitting on me. Yeah, the gnome is sitting on I've you. I've got but... a tiny gnome. So, okay, I thought I had a full oh, gnome. Oh, I thought I groped around in the darkness until I found something soft to sit on. <laughs> no. No, you Congratulations. didn't. Congratulations. You because you were, because you were busy pst, owing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like Pavlov's dog, man. It's just, 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 just. <laughs> so... Um, so there's a tiny dwarf, or sorry, there's a tiny gnome sitting on me. What, what you, with the I mean, dark are you comfortable? Legit? Is, is, are you, is, are you comfortable? Is, is comfy? Is, are... Like, are you pudgy? Are you, are you bony butt? I mean, I'm larger than, I mean, I'm a mountain dwarf, so I'm a bit more stocky. And I'm a, so I'd imagine I, I would be pretty comfy to lie on, especially if I'm just super hungover. And if he's not really uncomfortable, like, it's just like, feels like a tiny gnome. It feels like a cat sitting on All me. Right, yeah, so you got a cat I, sitting I on me. I ship him. Um. For those of you who have dark vision, <laughs> for those of you who have dark vision, there are other there are other people in this uh, in this cell. Right? I'll look around while I'm pretending is, to sleep. I don't know what the fuck it this is. It's fairly like uh, as, as for those of you with dark vision, it, it, it's a it's a big, wide, circular ish like cave, but it doesn't exactly have a roof. You can see up way up. All right, like the, like the walls only go so high. Uh, and you can see way up there these huge, gorgeous stalactites, stalagmites. What one of the is it, is it tight from the ceiling or might from the ceiling? Uh, it would be stalactites. Stalactites from the ceiling. Stalactites right. from the top. Um, did I actually bring us to the right scene? Okay, I did. So uh, that's the only thing you need to remember: so like tights giant from the top. spikes of stone with like pinpricks of light uh, that that barely illuminate this this purple color because you can't actually see. Uh, color in dark vision, right? Uh, and you right. can see motion, but you can't quite out, quite make out what it is. Um, and and the ceiling on this on this cave is only so high, and then it reaches unfathomably high before you see a stone ceiling. And then there are other inhabitants of the in the cage with you. Uh, they seem to have been here a little bit. A little while longer than you have, uh, because they're not freaking out. Uh, let me see. On the list of things that are here, there is a pair of of uh, of of fairly identical looking gnomes, deep gnomes. Uh, Smurf Neblin. Uh, so, yeah, there's a pair of Smurf Neblin, and they have a like a like a, a like they're, the only difference between these two is is after staring for a second, you realize one's a boy, one's a girl. The boy is muttering to himself, and he has like patchy, splotchy hair. And the girl is like looking around. She's very intent on on the on the male, and she has a swirl of hair on top of her head. Uh, there there is a there is a, there is a fish person. I mean, like Cthulian deep one fish people, right? Uh, and he is very Hate fish. very meditatively <laughs> sitting in 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 they the back corner, water. not engaging like in any them. behavior whatsoever. Just very very still, just ob observing, right? Um, he's observing. What else is there here? There's uh, there is a big, burly, I mean, motherfucking like scarred, hulking, massive orc. Right, he's got tats all over his body. I'd give you a roll if you weren't hungover. Uh, I'm gonna wrestle him. <laughs> uh, and and he is just scowling at everything that moves. Every he hates this thing, and he hates you, and he hates everything. So Looks like he's been in here face. longer than us, right? Uh. Um, there, there is a, there is a, there is another deep gnome, who's uh, he's got himself a shiny rock. You don't know how he managed to have anything, but he's flicking it over like with his thumb and catching it, flicking it, and he's and he's eyeing you, but he's not saying anything. He's looking at the newcomers, right? That uh, guy's got a side quest. There's uh, we there is him. there is another female dwarf. Fuck that! He's got a rock. Let's get it. Uh, Let's get it. <laughs> there is a, I don't. I don't need my axes to beat the shit out of people. Question. So. Question. I'm about to show my newbie. Uh, what is a shield dwarf? A, a shield dwarf. dwarf. I would imagine you said a female. Yeah, she's a female who fights with a. But there's only is two that, types of like dwarves. Like it's okay, a, it's a race. A, it, it just yeah. Said, I feel yeah. like it's weapon. Not yeah, okay, so well, only the book specifies shield dwarf, and I never actually figured out what that meant because uh, I haven't had time to do shit. But okay, so there's, there's, yeah, a, there's no, a female no dwarf. Yeah, no I was going to say, I have a feeling she's shield got, dwarf is going to just. She's, she fights with a big ass shield. She's clean shaven. 
Uh, and she's got like, like a huge, Viking. thick. She's the juggernaut. Huge, thick, braided, bright, fiery orange pigtails. Right. I would like to take this back. Shield dwarves are among the most common of the dwarven peoples. Once the rule. Okay, so. It is actually. Okay, so that's supposed to be quote unquote common. Dwarf? Yes, it is a sub race of shield. There, it is a sub, sub, sub race of shield. Of shield. <laughs> She's an agent. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Um, oh okay. my god, yes, I would like to. I would like to go through the races of shields. And she is. Please. She is specifically. She's got. She's got her arms crossed, right? And she's sit, she's like. She's got her her ankles crossed. Her arms crossed. She's kind of like standing with her back against the wall, and uh, she's got her eyes on on the orc. Specifically, like she's, you can tell she's got an eye on the orc even when she's looking. Right. Also, most dwarves are lawful good. What the fuck are you doing down here? She's probably super pissed off. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is angry dwarf over there. Then there is a Darrow. There is a Darrow who, despite the fact that he's been stripped to almost nothing, as far as like clothes or whatever, he still manages to make that loincloth look pretty dapper. Like he's very composed. Okay. He's very. How do you spell Darrow? D e r r o. Uh, Dark Dwarf, effectively. I was like, wait a minute, I've never heard of this, this term is, before. Yeah, the, Dar I, I the Darrow, if I'm not mistaken, okay. these are effectively drow dwarves. Yeah. Um, and, and he managed to look formal, even though he's not wearing much, and what he has is tattered, right? Like, it's the way he's standing, he has presence. I'm gonna take an extra long time checking him out. Right. Making sure he's not bad, maybe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I detect evil on him. The thing you are probably going to be most focused on, Katana. Not a cleric, God. There's a, there's a <laughs> Quaggoth in the cave with you. No, no. It's it's sitting very dejectedly in a slumped up heap <clears throat> in the Good. back, very back, like, and it's it's not like it's trying to avoid eye contact with anything and everyone. Like it is horribly ashamed to even be in this circumstance in a way that you ne like you've encountered quaggoth before yeah they're usually right? like raging they're usually like raging yeah. angry this this thing you've never seen shame as an expression right like this is the this is the puppy with it with the tail between his legs like it is so afraid and so lost and so confused beat the puppy. but it's puppy's a coming with us all right now guys fluffers is coming with us finally, finally you said you beat the puppy and i was like <laughs> finally uh uh dan we're gonna we're gonna kick this off with you because there is one last person in 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 the slave in the slave pens, uh, and you didn't realize it was a person. The mushroom right. standing next to you. You know what? Shit, he I didn't. Things. Thank you for keeping up with the current events, Carpe. I was just about to point that out. Yeah. I can't see shit. So so <laughs> I don't know around. Here. Sitting, ne sitting next to you is a mushroom that's just growing up out of the ground. It's like eh, it's less than three feet tall. Right, you can see glowing it's mushrooms. Like off of the maybe distance. it's one of those uh, edible kinds. Yeah, so like you're like, what is this soft? Right, and your hand touches it, and it's soft and mushy. And then after a moment, you hear, "What's that?" Who's talking? My my head, my head. What's on my head? <laughs> I don't know. Tiny person. Where are you? I'm right. I'm right here. The voice is coming from where you have your hand on this mushroom next to you. I keep moving my hand around until I find its face that's my, and its that's, moving mouth. That's my first. And then I go, oh, 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 that's you. Okay, yeah. Dude. I move my hand out. Like, oh, my bad. Oh, that's me. That's a nice hand. Thank you. It's the... It, it. Hi. Hi. I'm Stool. Really? Yes. And now, like, this, like, the mushroom will bounce up. It's a little animate mushroom person. Can't see it. Oh my god, am I watching this? Yes, you're watching. Can this. I watch this from a distance? Yes. Oh, this is entertaining. Right. This is and distracting. It, and you can the feel hangover. this mushroom getting up in your face. Of course, you have no idea what's actually going on, but you can feel like. What are you? Uh, I am. Uh, by well, I am Dan. Hi, Dan. I'm Stool. Hi, Stool. I'm Dan. Are you an elf? No. Are you a gnome? No. I was raised by gnomes. Are you a skinny dwarf? No. What are you? Stool, did you change your name? No. Did you choose your name? No. That makes sense then. What are you? Oh, you're a gnome. Hi, gnome. I'm Stool. Hi, Stool. You're a gnome? There's a gnome in here? Yep. Right on. 
He's Gnome's a gnome. Rock. Gnome power. He's gnome. I'm stole. You're dead. What? What do you mean gnome? What? You're a gnome. <laughs> yeah, gotta stand up to the oppressive tall ones. At this point, you notice the dwarf that you're sitting on has silently begun to just like shake because she's laughing so hard at you two. <laughs> I think the dwarf's up. Well, awake. <laughs> Two dwarves. There's two dwarves here. At this point, at this point, the orc in the back. Shut up. Who was that? That's Ront. He's an asshole. <laughs> I've never seen one of them. And, and the other, the other dwarf, <laughs> the other dwarf, right? The other dwarf like pinches her nose and she says, "No, no, no, no. That's that's." You don't say that out loud, stool. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He's he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, dwarf, you're a lot softer than most of the other drunks I've sat on. Yeah, and you're a lot lighter than a lot of the cats that have sat on me. So, wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm gonna roll over. <laughs> 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 Just push it, just roll over. Very roll, Carpe. <laughs> if I can't pick, if he doesn't want to move, I'll just pick him up. Put oh him my up. god, okay, so so Dojil just typed in chat. He said, hi, I'm Stool. Toadstool. I didn't even get the reference. This, I've been really? prepping this game for a month and I didn't get the reference. Aww. Our princess is in another castle. In another I jail right away. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna start like stretching, rolling over. What is? What do you do, yeah. Mister? I'll I'll get off mm -hmm. of your body. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me, matter, Carfra, Porque, no, Lostos, well, let me try again. Okay, no loss, no. Well, I'm not gonna. Let me try again. There. <laughs> I don't think you can recover from that. <laughs> <laughs> I will nimbly <laughs> get off. <laughs> I just mean you yeah, have as high an athletic good. score as your parents. Okay, so the, the, the dwarf is standing up, all right? So I have described unto you the entire arena in which you exist and all of the things that there are to interact with, all right? How uh, thick are these bars, the jail cell? The, the orc. Or do you ask that out loud? Or do, are no, you I'm, looking, I'm looking at the jail, like legitimately looking at the jail cell, like how far away the bar... They're like that. Uh, They're huge. They, they got. They got to be at least like. Damn six it! I can above. usually. Oh, I can usually bend the bars and get out of jail. God damn it! Yeah, you get these the idea. These are really thick. There's, there's a quaggeth in here with you. Uh, you're probably not like this. These things could house a quaggeth. You're probably not gonna. Still force them. I'm not. It's not. Doesn't mean I can't try. At least look around. <laughs> yeah, you know. Am I, am I smaller than the other gnomes? Yes. <laughs> you are the smallest of all the gnomes. Okay. Uh, <sighs> any chance I could fit between them? The bars? You're the littlest no. G. I'm the littlest G. <laughs> Any you, chance I could fit between the bars? You try and squeeze through? Uh, you, sh sure, why the hell Dude, not? If you can. Right. As you approach the bars, right? As you approach the bars, the, what, the, no, the gnome with the, with, the, with the flipping coin, right? He walks up. He sits down next to you. Is like, or, he's, or he crouches down next to you because you're a little shorter than he is. He doesn't get to do that often, right? Right. He's, Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm Jim Jar. You got a name? You're, I'm, I'm sorry, what? I'm Jim Jar. You got a name? Jim Jar, I do have a name. Uh, What's your name? Uh, I'm Glossy. All right, Glossy, I'm Jim Jar. No, he's Vag. He's Glossy Vag now. Good job. All right, Glossy. I'll tell you what. <laughs> this is, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll make you a bet. Yeah? I bet you even skinny as you are, you can't fit through those bars. Bet you two gold. Uh, how long have you been awake? How long have I been awake? Oh, I've been here for a few days. I ain't got the gold okay. yet. But trust me, you'll get the gold. We'll get out of here. I ain't met a cell that can hold Jim Jar yet. Drow or otherwise. He's still flipping his coin. Wait, this is a drow cell? This is... Yeah. Okay. You um. don't... You don't know where you are, do you? Uh, um... <laughs> I think they want me to do some cleaning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Jim does like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then, and then and then the quag at the back will actually does anybody here speak Elvin? 
Uh, no, just dwarvish uh, and common. Ugh. I think I just speak. Yeah, I think I, I just speak common, speak common and right draconic. Now. Right at that common point. At, at that point, like the 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 Quaggoth in the back will say something in Elf, which is not a language you've ever known a Quaggoth to speak. Ever. This is like this is like your dog suddenly breaking out in like fucking elvish. Like a Tolkien elvish. Like what like what is happening, right? And he but he looks up and he like he's looking at Jim Jar and he says something. And Jim Jar's like, he keeps doing that. I don't know what he's saying. And oh, like, I can speak Elvin. Okay. So uh so 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 Levi Le Matt, whatever your name is. Yeah, that's a, Yes, that's once a again we have a campaign where I can only I'm the only one that can understand the NPC. It's true. This is not the first time this has ever happened. <laughs> Uh, so, Matt, I'm going to type up a Skype message. Here, you I don't learn no pansy-ass right. language at the fairies. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so... Just grunt at my people. <laughs> Must be fun to have people teach you things. I know, right? They did, and then I got kicked out, and now I'm a drunken fool. What do you know? My community college education managed... I'm stuck in this stupid cell. Managed to teach me something useful after all. This is about what the Elvish says, and he's saying this to Jim Jarmat. Hmm. I sent it to you in, in Skype. All right. I'm sure I've heard it before, but I have no idea what it is. Or, you know, I have no idea how to translate it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you recognize uh, Elvin when you hear it. Dirty or in, the same, in the same way that, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't strictly speak Spanish, but I know Spanish when I hear it. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's yeah. like, look, yeah, I don't out speak, loud, but I know what you're speaking. <laughs> out loud, uh, yeah, Dan will say Oh, oh that's bad. <laughs> uh, if it involves being dirty, uh, stupid, or short, I've probably heard it. No, apparently we're all slaves now, or will be slaves, or something. I don't know. Oh, lovely. Well, yeah, you know. But does that mean we get out of the cell at some point? I, <laughs> but, I mean, if we gotta do slave stuff, the oracle pipe up. He says, "Yeah," when they feel like playing with you. Okay. Uh, Do slaves get to play in the, with the drow? I, I don't think he means play in a good way there, bucko. <laughs> so not with building blocks is what you're saying? No. No, probably with like horrible instruments of death, you know? <laughs> Although so... they, they might let you play with some building blocks the, and, you know. The, the, while you have needles in your brain, enjoy. The dwarf, the, the dwarf will pipe up. I wonder what that would do to a person. The dwarf will pipe up and she says, uh, she says, I'm Eldith Felden from Gauntlegrim. I've been here for about a week. They make you clean. They make you shovel spider dung. They'll invent things for you to do just so they can amuse themselves by watching you do it. Okay. That sounds less that than pleasant. That doesn't sound terrible. If you I was too thinking much of a more like, no, nah, we're... The spiders. Sorry. I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't hear, quite hear she it. She said, if you make too much of a ruckus, they feed you to the spiders. I think I could take a spider. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Magic isn't working in here for some reason. Nope. Ow! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> this fucker! <laughs> oh, God. Well, how did... Okay. And stool. What's a slave? Um... You do a lot of work and they don't pay you. Or respect you. Or anything. You're stuck here for the rest of your life. That's what being a slave is about. That's pretty accurate. Which is why we need to get out of here. That's bad. Yeah, people don't like being slaves, generally. When can I go home? Eh, if they have anything to say about it, never. If I have anything to say about it. Whenever we want. Are you gonna Maybe. Take, you're going to take me home? Yeah, we can try and take you home. Side quest unlocked. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> get over here, little man. Let's figure Jim this Josh, shit out. Jim just saying, oh, damn it. I've been trying Everybody to tell needs kid, a family. I've been trying to tell the kid that we get out of here eventually. He didn't like listen to me. Nobody likes listening to you. You talk too much. And... So, what have you tried? Have you, I'm assuming you've tried at least, Jim Jar. I'm assuming is... you've at least tried to break out of here. I snuck out of here twice. Say what? I did. They okay, well, why did they catch you? Yeah. See, the problem is okay, so you stuck out of the jail, but not out of the... I, I didn't say I got away. I just said I right, snuck out. Right, and that's out. fine. No, I, I just need to sneak out. Um. 
no, if he can sneak out, though, that means we can sneak out with him, and hopefully we'll just – there. I mean, how many of us are there here anyway? There's uh, you three. There's uh, Bepito over there. There's – Prince Darendel off in the corner with the shaggy hair. There's Eldith makes six so far. There's me is seven. Uh, Everybody's good with that. I don't know if we want to count on. <laughs> there's uh, who the who the, the shaggy one? No, what? just everybody. I don't know, man. Did oh, you say uh, Prince Bethelda? Uh, the fucking trout face over there is a bit of useless in a fight. And and like at this point, at this point, uh, oh no. At this point, uh, he will actually pipe up. He says. My na- or he says, uh, he says, Shushar is my name. Shush- the Quagga. Shushine, yeah, yeah, Shushine, you. <laughs> you shine, Shushine, you shine, yeah. This is, uh, inevitable is ours. If patience we can have. What kind of patience? Like, can I oh, attack sorry. the first people that come to take us? Because that's the kind of patience I've got right now. <laughs> He says, violence is but a singular hand, usually He's, the wrong one. He sounds wise. I'm going to go all. He made me sad because I'm going to remember what I did. <laughs> oh, that thing. Violence isn't the answer. Well, I can't bend these bars, and usually... How do you know the future, Shushar? This is a great Shushan. many things. A great many things I know, and a great many things the cosmos whispers to me. The future is not one of them. Our escape, however. Inevitable? Are you immortal? Yeah. Oh, well then perhaps yours is not. Wait, what? Wait, did you ask if I'm immortal or if I am immortal? Immortal. Oh, no, I'm not immortal. Sorry, well, I know. At the very least, you can escape in a casket. Oh, this cheeky fucker. All right. <laughs> I was hoping for a little this, bit Kurt more. Words in Dwarven? Right, right. And, 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 like, I like Ron... you, Shusha. <laughs> Let's look on the bright side. Yeah, I mean, you have to hand it to Shusha, him for being able to like, find the silver lining here. Is it, this is, this, let's look on the bright side, and Shusha says, this is the Underdark, no? There is no bright side. Nope, nope. That means that every side where there is light, that's bright by comparison. <laughs> or some sort of fungus that is trying to kill you. Um, <laughs> but still bright. Ron, Ron says, I know I'm getting out. I got penance to pay. Yeah, how are you getting out? Ron, smash. I would like to join you in this smashing. I think we would make a good team. I don't. I think that's how we're going to get out of the jail. Some smashing. He, like he gets a look Everybody on his face. Got a better says, idea. He said, "Like he gets oh. a look on his face." He says, "Yeah, dwarven help. That'll get his places." It could. If you known for digging. But like Elvis says, "You ain't got." He says, "She says uh, beggars can't be choosers." And as somebody who abandoned your post, maybe, maybe, uh, oh, what's his name? He's, maybe Grumsh's point is that now you got to work with dwarves. And Raunch shoots her a stare. Says, "You're lucky I've left you alive this." Only because you're a coward and you think the dwarves would, uh, you think the drought would kill you for it. And he shuts up. <laughs> like he says nothing. Right. Uh, and the, yeah. the prince. Well, I mean. Uh, the prince pipes up an elven while, while you're talking, right? The prince is muttering under his breath. Go ahead, Pluto. I was going to say, uh, well, there's two of us now. Oh, well, wait, now how many dwarves are there in this room? There's like three. That's more than an orc. No, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm actually gonna keep my mouth shut because I don't need to start a fight in the jail cell with this dude. All right, I'm gonna uh, so try I need to get it. out and get drinking again. There's no alcohol in here. That's not gonna be conducive. We have an elven prince here too. Yeah, you're right. The elven. No, what were you saying, Carpe? I'm gonna look out from the bars and see if there's any like hmm. people, drow, quaggoths. Monsters, whatever, is, is that he... would potentially throw me right back in. Yeah, they and are. then see if I can fit between the bars. But okay, as, as you look out, right, you can see the occasional um you see the occasional uh Quagath slave walk by. You see a drow here or there. Jim Jar settles down next, he says right outside these gates. Like this web. Like a web breach. Right. 
That web bridge leads right up to the guardhouse. It's the only way out of this place. This, this platform we're on doesn't connect to anything. And in that guardhouse are a bunch of assholes. That's as far as I ever got, was the assholes. Like Rod? No, no, no. Dark, thin, skinny fucks with long ears. Oh. Drow. Yeah, yeah, those assholes. Mm. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay. Or as they like to be known on the streets, the D row. Elda says, if I were you, I'd wait a couple of days before trying something. Did you say a couple of days? Well, a couple of sleeps. Okay. They let us out to do our chores constantly under supervision. But it's intel, isn't it? No, that's a good point. We should have an idea of what we're doing when we get away, like which tunnel might be the safest or whatever. Are you kidding me? Sorry, my cat is meowing. We don't really have options at the moment. It's pretty much just the path up to the guardhouse, right? So it's it's not like which tunnels are the best. It's like... Path. Overtake the goddamn yeah, guardhouse. After the guardhouse, I mean, where do we go? See, and oh, uh, I guess it depends on where the chores happen. Where do the chores happen? Bella says, I don't know. I haven't been allowed out of the pens yet. The Quagget so says, out of the the Quagget so says something in Elven, and eventually, like, the, the mushroom stands up, right? Stool stands up and walks over to the Quagget and looks at the Quagget and says, Hi, I'm Stool. And the Quagget, like, pets the mushroom, right? Aww. I'll translate to the Quagget. Right. Okay. Uh, and, and the and the Quagget. Just in case it doesn't know common. Well, okay. So the, the Quagget speaks Elven to the to, to the mushroom, right? And it says, you know, I am Prince Derendil. And and uh, and Dan will translate. And then there is a like a like a like a slight. Wait. Name. How many how many princes are in here? Because we've got the one Elven prince, and now no, we've no, got a Quagget prince. No, the the Quagget is claiming to be an Elven prince in Elven. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. I, I hadn't realized that. <laughs> Yes. Uh, and what happens is, is that Stool, like, there's a fart noise, like a... Pfft, and there is this dust that just goes flying everywhere in specifically a 10-foot radius. <laughs> and everybody who is specifically Gross. within 10-foot radius of the mushroom. Uh, everybody what? It's, it's, Everyone who is within 10 feet of the mushroom. Uh, can now actually understand all words spoken by anybody within... It's, it's a 30-foot range. Um, so, like, in mid-sentence, right, uh, you hear the elven turn into common in your head, right? Like, and now you can understand elven. That's literally what just happened. Not me, I just hear more elven. Uh, 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 not me, I was up by the bars. And he says, <laughs> it would be unwise. Our captives are highly intelligent. They know the lay of the land more than we. We have no idea what gods... What forces they have to bring to bear against us, we should continue to observe. Trust me, I have no intention of staying, but I think that acting rashly will only get us further into the pits of hell itself, rather than out. He sounds intelligent. It's only because he's got a British accent. <laughs> What's all else British? British? You guys can understand that guy now? What the hell happened? Oh, I can uh, understand him all along. I speak out. You Still missed grossest translate spell ever. Stool, stool, um, stool says, <laughs> I help him. You guys, you guys couldn't understand it before? No. No. What? Do I look like an elf? I I'm not going to I don't know question. what you look like. <laughs> Am I tall like an elf? <laughs> I can't, I tell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Made British, yeah. Is, <laughs> well, I'm not. I haven't been kneeling this whole time, so I don't speak fucking Elven. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Well, I, I would really appreciate. All right, he's telling us to. Uh, I haven't been kneeling this whole time. Knows. Allow me Back to up. introduce. Allow Are you me saying to... that if you kneel, you can speak Elven? No, I'm saying that if I kneel, I would be the same height as the height that I am now, and therefore my voice, which is coming from lower than your face. Would be from a kneeling elf rather than a standing elf. Never mind. I've never heard of a kneeling elf. Or a standing elf, for that matter. No, never mind. Don't be stupid. Um... <laughs> I am Prince Derendil of the High Elves, the Great Wood. Please do not let my current state confuse you. I have been cursed. Huh. That sucks. What that does is, suck? That is wrong. Yeah. 
Uh, you know what? Can I get a, like a knowledge arcana check or something on like curses that could turn someone into? Yeah, go ahead. Or well, Kurt. Yeah. Then again, I don't know. I don't know what he looks like, so it doesn't really yeah, matter. Go, go I just ahead. have to take his word for it. I, uh, he motions to Ront, the, the 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 orc. He says, "This is Ront. Ront was once a proud warrior. Questionable though his pride may be. Watch it, elf boy." He says he believes he's been cast down here by his gods for abandoning his men. The war with the dwarves. That is Eldith. Kind soul at times until she gets a drink. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Jim Jar claims to be a great gnomish spy. I can't attest to uh, the greatness of his aptitude, however, given that he's been captured by the drow. Three times. Jim Jar and says, I've never heard of him, which doesn't really say one thing or another. I'm supposed to be Actually... Here. It might say that he's actually really good at his job if you've never heard of him before. Yeah, I'm supposed yeah, to be or here. that he's not a spy. He says, uh... If he's got you thinking that, maybe that's just how good he is. The drow back in the corner, Sarith, accused of murder, doesn't like talking. Claims he's innocent. We've got a drow in here with us? It would appear so. Huh. You've met Shushar, the Awakened. Great Kuotoa wise man. Huh. <laughs> I must give him this my many days of conversation with him. Say the insanity that's prevalent among his people. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And that in the corner, the pair that have yet to introduce themselves. Don't really blame them. Topsy! Talkative one, and Turvy, the muttering one. Inseparable. They've only been here for a few days. I don't know anything about them. And given that we barely oh, know anything about... Here. Oh, sorry. Given that we barely know anything about each other here, wise of us to at the very least attempt to work together against captors we know nothing about. Because we don't know our enemy, nor do we know ourselves, and I find that as it be for disastrous Man, they taught you, like, philosophy and tactics in elven lands, didn't they? I was an elven prince, yes. That's what I'm saying. So, like, you have all that education backing you up. That's pretty cool. A man who favors knowledge. Got to introduce yourself? Oh, yeah. Dan Deinstein. He's Dan! Yeah, Dan. Like He's Stool Dan. Said. I'm Stool. Like Stool said. <laughs> I, well, yeah, I, I mean, I graduated top of my class from uh, from Pam, you know, Pilsen's, Pilsen's Academy of Magic. From where? Pam. It's a scam school. It's a, <laughs> and like, he knows it's a scam school, but he's going to- It's got like, a P.O. Take, box for an address. I guess you could say it's a Pam scam. But he doesn't want to, he Ooh. doesn't want to. He doesn't want to be shown up by the Elven Prince, you know. Right, so, so he's, a oh, the, <laughs> the P on your very curious garb. I assume that's some sort of coat of arms, then. Yeah. The School yeah, of Magic, like a, you said. What's that? The School of Magic, you say. Yeah. Then perhaps in an escape attempt you could make yourself useful. If I could work magic, yeah. And what of you? Our second Dwarven companion. The Taste for Alcohol. Uh, I don't really like talking <laughs> to people. Is that just a but, result of the after effects of alcohol, or is that normal? <laughs> this is this is normal for me. I'm Gatana. How do we I get stole. out of here? How long have you guys been here? Most of us have been here for under 20 days or so. It seems to be that uh, the ones that have been here longest just... Get shipped out, probably moved to another location, put up for sale. How many times have you guys attempted to escape? Jim Jar says three. Everybody else is like, like, uh, Ron says, yeah. I ain't tried yet. <sighs> How many successful attempts have been made in the history of this jail? Zero. The Darrow, to the best of our knowledge, I'd imagine. The Darrow pipes up. He says, I just haven't seen my opportunity yet. Oh man. This is uh waiting for that casket, right? He says when my opportunity shows up, I'll take it. I'll be fine. These guys ain't got shit on me. I'm Bupito. 
Come on. I'm Pepito. <laughs> and like, you can hear like the groan from the quagga. Like he was really hoping to skip Pepito. Like, Pepito was mm -hmm. like, Pepito's like, whatever. We'll be fine. I got this. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be. I'm, I'm super, super cocksure. I just don't give a fuck. That is the state of mind my character oh, is you and, in. You and Pepito are totally in the same spot. Like in Pepito's yeah, head, the, like, uh... the way he's talking, like there's nothing. Like these people are ants. Like there's not even a question. He'll get out, right? Like. I'm so Pepito, they don't before. have shit on you. Where do you guys go to the bathroom? Because I ate before I got knocked out. Dig a hole, fuck face. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> but Pito My says hands aren't that hard. But but Pito says wherever it is the quagget doesn't get angry at you. That Stick your ass fair. out. Okay, the bar. Funny, I promise. Oh yeah, Shusha, you could just poo into your hand. You could just poo into your hand and fling it out of the cage. Shushine! The the the, the cool tall wise man motions to, to the corner that nobody else is sitting and says That way. Needs social outcastery. Thank you kindly. I don't want him to have shit on me either. Yeah, we oh. need a good, good idea there, buddy. <laughs> um, so the uh, the uh, uh, this this will go on like casual conversation. It's basically been described. Don't rock the boat yet because the drow really don't like it. Uh, Ront's got a story. He's been here the longest, right? He's got a yeah, story. Yeah, I'm interested. He, like, yeah, like, he, he makes no, he, nothing. He hates fucking dwarves. Like, he fucking hates dwarves. His tribe is at war with, uh, with the other dwarves tribe. And the reason he mm -hmm. has not, like, cracked his knuckles and gone to town yet, despite the fact the other dwarf says it's because he's a coward, he explains. Any fights that break out between the slaves are only allowed to continue as long as the drow find them entertaining, at which point they shoot you with drow poison and knock you out and stop it. And if you keep being a problem, they feed you to the spiders, which are no joke. Yeah. Uh, what if we all got fed to the spiders? What if they just took us all down there? Maybe... Mm. You've ever fought a spider? Okay, not a gigantic one, but yeah, yes. The, yeah, Ron's like, I these, fought many a spider. <laughs> these spiders are taller than I am. Yeah, yeah okay. well, I mean, like, how hard can these spiders be to, like, bam, take them out? Have you, right? ever, have you ever wrestled a horse? Maybe I have, maybe I mm. haven't. What's that's, about as, that's about as I'm, hard as Ron seems to think it would be. Like I've wrestled horse. with horse. I don't think you yeah. wrestle horses. I think you just shoot them or something. Qua the Quaggoth will look at you in disappointment at the crassness of your humor. <sighs> Gloss. But but you know what? But he he recognizes the humor. He immediately has identified the jester in the court. <laughs> finally, finally the drow will pipe up. The drow the drow will pipe up. He says, y'all don't know where you are, do you? No. The uh, slave pit. Uh, I'm really hoping I'm not where I am, but I'm pretty sure I know where I am, thanks to uh, some childhood trauma. <laughs> he says, uh, he says, this is Velkenvel. This is a small slave trader's outpost that runs caravan routes back and forth from the cities here and the surface. What if they got any gladiator rings? Not here. Out in the cities, they do. I can fight my way out. Mm. They wouldn't put a surface dweller in the arena. They have taste. Aw, oh, this guy. Y'all, this trowel. <laughs> Where, wherever that place is, I just got a 25 on a check for it. Falcon 5? You have that... advantage? Nice. You have advantage on that check? I do not. No, oh, then, then you, you got, got a 23. 23. You always get the first number. Mind. I'm sorry, I forgot number. how it worked. Um, it you've never heard of this again, specific outpost. I only outpost. learned about this three hours ago. That's why I know it. <laughs> you've never heard of this specific outpost, but you do know enough about drow culture to know that like, there are lots of outposts like this. Uh, and you can assume that there is a small contingent of drow here probably being, probably be, being overseen by a very up-and-coming uh, matriarch uh, who probably runs the whole operation and is using it as a chance to prove her worthiness to run any kind of an operation. Um, and because it is a slave trading outpost, your 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 stay here will not be permanent, but it will be fucking unpleasant as fuck. Gotcha. So they 
get us used to the idea of slavery before shipping us off to a more profitable market. Right, and this is the worst part of your slavery career you will ever have. And if you can avoid this part, you want to. Man. This, is, this is where they break Just you. Just skip ahead if possible. Right. <laughs> this this is where they break you. Oh. Break them. Right. Well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm familiar with the city. Yeah, I've heard of it. That'll be fun. Wish I'd learned to play the drums. Took I got it. It was mentioned for uh, there was like a 20 minute lecture on it in my social studies class. All right. I want everybody to roll. Uh, actually, I want everybody to pick. One of you motherfuckers here is going to be rolling one d10. That's going to represent the number of days that go by. Who wants? Who like the, uh, the rest of you need to nominate a motherfucker? Me. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to nominate myself. Carpet <laughs> unnominated himself. And... Carpet said not oh. it. Matt that volunteered somebody Pluto. who wasn't it, and Pluto Fairy was the only one who had a vote counted on her that counted. So Pluto Fairy. I think it was Pluto Fairy. Roll one d10. I, I voted for myself and won. Democracy <laughs> at work, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, 1d10, you said, right? Yep. Well, if Carpe hadn't abstained, maybe we would have had a three-way tie there or a clear win. Two. Oh, my goodness. See, she would have. She rolled a lot better than me. Yeah, that's true. Cause she only I do have pretty good luck with the Okay, dice. so then I want everybody present to roll 1d20. This is going to be the oh, – I'll tell you what this means in a second. But the higher, the better here. Oh, great. Everybody roll 1d20. Yep. Right. Oh, I got a 19. Yep. Like I said. You got a 19? Yeah. All right. That puts you with a, a 23, right? With the with the plus two? Plus two from what? No, that puts you at 21. Why did you roll your acrobatics? Why did you I, roll your acrobatics? It was a handy d20. I guess if you don't get any bonuses on your dexterity, which you wouldn't, yeah, it would be just a straight 1d20 roll. So, wait, well, add your proficiency. No, it doesn't. Oh, oh wait, I was supposed to add my dexterity? No, you're not. It's just a straight d20 roll. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, see, so I just rolled. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, so, you, so you got a 19, that's, so you got a 19, plus 2 is 21, and Carpe Diem, 1d20, you got a 5? Yep. <laughs> like I said... And Never Pluto pick Fairy. me to roll anything. You got an 18. <laughs> All right, so over the next few days, the following things occur. You are oh, put God. to work. If you are getting along with somebody, the drown notice. They pair you with someone else. Uh, so you, I you make are friends stuck. with Ront. Yeah, like, you are... <laughs> 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 you are. You I are like that all... other jewel. I like the other dwarven chick. We yeah, go. So we gonna be. We gonna be sisters. You, you're gonna be. You gonna, you're gonna be. You're gonna be buddies. Uh, just not right now because the drought won't let you work together because you're getting along. Uh, no, of course not. They pair you with the people you like the least. If you at all like get uppity, like they have no uh, qualms of beating the shit out of you, and it's not a fair fight. Up. You can fight back. There's ten of them. Good luck. I got a question. What's up? How do they make up for the fact I can't see? You're just going to have to deal. You deal wow, with it. Okay. They don't make up for it. You have to just deal with it. I gained dark vision as a result of my tribulations. Oh, right. if only that's how it works, sweetie. I know, right? All right, so in short, they beat the shit out of you more often for not working fast enough. That's how they deal with it. I can't see what I'm doing. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> they probably have me doing stuff like chopping onions. As a matter of fact, oh. they give you things like chopping onions because it is funny to them because you can't see. Because you exactly. can't see. They probably give you, like, the things you need to see for actually, actually because drow. You know what? I take it back because my mom's blind, so it's clearly not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much sit by Shusha and make fun of everybody, but mostly stool. But mostly stool. He's so stool, tiny. Stool doesn't understand. No, see, he's making stool. fun of stool so that he gets paired with stool. Stool is completely innocent in the sense that he doesn't understand he should be upset by this. Like he, you yep, make you make fun of him when he asks questions. So he keeps getting paired right. with other people he keeps, because like, he's too friendly like with every, everyone. Yeah, like by the time this is all said and done, like stool's doing his own thing off the corner because he literally is like he is the most adorable, innocent, <laughs> nice creature you have ever encountered in your life. The Quaggeth turns Fucking out to chaotic be chaotic good. The Quaggeth turns out to be on the one hand the most noble and regal creature you have ever encountered, but on the other hand, when he gets angry, motherfucker, he gets angry. Uh, he was tra his stories that he was transformed into this Quaggoth by an evil wizard. 
Um, and you can see the Quagath in him when he gets pissed off. The drow actually, like, they have, like, nets and special, like, they poison him. He doesn't give a fuck. They net him down. Like, there's, there's a whole big deal when they piss him off, right? Um, like, Am the other Quagaths have to come in, and he's, like, throwing the other Quagaths around. Um, it is some nasty. Like, he, is a, he is a fucking Jesus. beast, right? I make fun of him for being a horribly failed pacifist. Um... <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm fucking impressed. I like this bro sauce. Uh, and, 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 like, eventually, okay, so here's what you managed to sneak, find, steal, whatever, over your course of your, uh, of your being, um, like, shoved around, forced to do all these stupid tasks. Uh, Matt. I would like to particularly yeah. do a sharp rock. Dan, you are blind as fuck. Out of all the things that you managed to kife away that don't get confiscated, you managed to... Find a flawed Carnelian gemstone. Not that I can identify it. Ooh, it's a slightly smooth rock. <laughs> it's a red rock. <laughs> Go it, it, you, re you recognize something of wealth because you spent so much of your time needing money in the past few years. Like, you recognize it's a gem. It's a shitty gem. You don't know what kind of gem, but it's a gem. And it's yeah, yours. Cool. This is the that's first it, thing... All I find, or... This is the first thing you have been able to own since you got here. This is... Strangely psychologically comfortable. Like this is necessary to you. You need this fucking rock. <laughs> um, I need this. Fucking you had an eighteen. I got a nineteen. Uh, uh you, you had an eighteen, Gatana. Yes. Okay. What am I adding to it? My per well, I got a sixteen, and then what am I adding to it? Two. Anything? Two. Two. The, the, okay, the then yeah. Eighteen. You find a. You manage to steal away a five foot long strand of silk rope. I wonder where I put that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was probably in my bra. Um, <laughs> I was Gloss. thinking you just hide it in your beard. Gloss whistle. Or, or I just made it my beard for the day, bitches. Gloss whistle. Or glossy. Yep. <laughs> um, you manage to, with all of the advantage you have over Dan and the fact that you can see and he can't, and all the fact that you don't lose your cool and he is clearly like shit out of luck, he manages to find this this particularly nice looking rock. Hello, Mrs. Carpe. Uh, and <laughs> in the meanwhile, you manage to find by comparison absolutely nothing. You rolled a blank entry on the chart. There's nothing for you. You don't have anything. Your dice suck. Yep. Get nothing. You uh, lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> Good day, sir. So yep. uh, over the course of the of the next uh, of the next three, four, five days, oh, right? As you as you're as everybody's biding their time, like really learning to fucking hate Drow. Even this Drow has racist things to say about Drow by this point. What's his name right. again? This Drow? Uh, no, not Driss. This isn't Driss. This is uh, <laughs> fucking. Can we change? It? What was your name? Come Dick on, Beck. it'll be Driss with like three T's and a Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> and of all, Driss. Driss. of all the Driss. people in the slave pens, they treat Sarah the worst. Naturally, because cause he's a trout he's, trader. Yeah, no, he's not just, you yeah. know, like, they look down at you. You're the lesser races. You might as well be cattle, whatever. You belong there, but him? But he's not supposed to be there. He's not supposed to be there. He he murdered uh, a noble. He's, like, like he's accused of, like, bloodthirstily ah. killing a noble, right? <laughs> and he's, he, to this day, like, he insists he didn't, but he kind of wishes he had. The way he's being treated now. Uh, yeah. There will be, uh, at, at some point, uh, the, the dwarf and the drow will get into a fight. Or not the drow, the dwarf and the orc will get into a fist brawl. And just like Ront said, they will, they, like, they, they get peppered with poison, threatened, whipped, beaten, and then almost fed to the spiders. But as, like, okay, so you're watching this happen because they made a ruckus, right? And they are well, can, walking... Can I join the ruckus? Right. Yeah, you could join the ruckus. Do you want to? No, can I join, join the ruckus and get my ass beaten to within an inch of my life? Yeah. And almost fed to the spiders and be like, okay, guys, I fucked up. Right. Whoa, did I fuck up? <laughs> all right. So what happens is this is huge. The huge thing jumps in. You start fighting the dwarf and the orc, and all of a sudden, poof, poof, you guys are like peppered, peppered with poison crossbow bolts, right? <laughs> When you come to, the other slaves are all gathered around. It's being made a spectacle. There's like, it picks like walking the plank, only instead of a ship, it's the cliff. And instead of the water, there's just this mass of webs. And you can see there are spiders three or four times the size of a horse. Right? Um, with your, I patched with your, them up afterwards. Oh, <laughs> What's going um, on, guys? You are, you are tied up and being dangled within, like, dangled off the edge. Right? Um... 
but you're you're actually tied up to. Okay, let me, let me rewind a little bit. I just had I just had the perfect mental image. Right? So there's the cliff and there's the long shadowy expanse before you and you can see the spiders like sharks getting ready as they scuttle across the webs, right? No! And you are tied up to like to a, to like a log that is extended the over the pit at an angle and you're tied up so that you're looking down at the pit. It's the only thing that you can see and, and there are three drow that run this operation. One of which is named, you like she clearly introduces herself because it is important to her that you know who the fuck you are fucking Fuck she with. is, yeah. yeah. She is Ilvara Mizrim. She is the drought priestess and commander of the outpost, and by showing disrespect to this, to, to each other in such a fashion, you have brought dis, di, great dishonor on the blah blah blah. She's saying it sarcastically, bitingly, like, you don't have honor, you're animals. Mm. Right? And it takes a while, but she's gonna feed you to these fucking spiders because if you can't work you're still going to benefit this outpost because she will not be made a fool. You have uses. Be grateful the ones that I've chosen for you are the ones that leave you living. Right? Uh... Um, there's another slave. You don't recognize him. He probably was kept in a different pen. Right? To emphasize her point, she cuts his, uh, his log. When you're fed to the spiders, you're tied up. You can't fight back. All you can do is scream as they tear you apart and crunch your bones between their mandibles as audibly and visibly as possible. They don't suck your blood? No. <laughs> well, dang. There is, there is also a, 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 a pacing next to her very attentively. I guess I'm hearing all of this going, what's going on, guys? Lis listening to every <laughs> word. Yeah, like Mass Character's not yet. Listening to every I word. Fucked that up. I fucked up, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Listening to every word that Ilvara is is saying is is a younger drow priestess in training, uh, who you as the, uh, the the prisoners will whisper among each other that is Asha. Nobody knows shit all about her because she doesn't talk to the slaves. They don't know like she she doesn't even want to look at you. And it, you get the idea. It's not that she doesn't want to look at you because you're beneath her, but because she doesn't know what like she 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 doesn't know like how to look at you, what she should think. And so she's very uncomfortable. Uh, and then there are Shur and Jorlan. Shur and Jorlan are the two male drow that are constantly, always at the side of Ilvara. Uh, I think it is Jorlan. Jorlan is the elder of the two, and he is a he is a he is a, he is a, he is a stately. He's very very proper, very proud. He is he is a warrior. You can see that in the way he stands. He is extremely experienced, trained. You would not want to fuck with this motherfucker, right? And he would be drop-dead gorgeous if not for a giant gashing scar across his face. Someone fucked up. <laughs> he fucked up, too. On the other Mistakes side, <laughs> on the other uh, side of Ilvara is, is another male drow. Younger, also very good-looking, clearly less experienced. No gash on his face. He gets her fancy stick that he gets to carry around. I bet he's got a fucking fancy stick. <laughs> What's up, uh, Carpe Diem? <laughs> they put ornaments in his stick. No, I'm. Oh, okay. I'm just taking notes. Yep. Uh, between, yeah, he's typing. Between those oh, three, yeah. between those three, uh, uh, you will note, Glossy, uh, Jorlan clearly fucking dislikes Shore. But will not disrespect Shore while Ilvara is looking. Ilvara doesn't even acknowledge <laughs> Jorlan's existence. She obviously we should trick him into bringing his arch nemesis down here so he can murder him and then murder that guy and then oh yeah let's do this <laughs> I got an idea guys she's it's got an idea while she's dangling on the, on the, the I've got a terrible idea yeah if we can get them to fireball the spiders we can climb down through the spider pit that's been fired when uh, oh, when it's all said and done, and all, but like the, the 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 viciously and brutally honest speech, she doesn't she doesn't dress it up. You are you are mere animals. Get used to it. You will do what you are told. Get used to it because she she doesn't even care that she's feeding this guy. She's actually disappointed she had to feed this guy because this guy could have been money, like could have been yeah. more useful. But if he, if if he's not going to be sellable, then she's got to cut loose, right? Like, and that the way she delivers that speech is a little fucking bone chilling because you didn't know people could be this sociopathic. She's she's being blunt and real with you. It's not drow. meant to intimidate you, right? Um, yeah, drow. And when and then and then she will ask, "Will you behave?" To 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 Ron, and Ron says, "Yes." She doesn't cut him down, and then she goes to the other dwarf. She says, "You gonna behave?" She says, "Fine." And she comes. Then she comes to to Katana. She says, "Will you behave?" 
Mm. I'm just gonna grunt. <laughs> she holds the sword up. Oh, come on. Fine. <laughs> she puts the sword down. Oh. And she motions she motions to uh she motions to she motions to Jorlan. She says, pull the animals down and head down. And Jorlan is clearly like this is not the duty he should be saddled with. This is like newbie grunt work, right? And he and he cuts and he is he is actually not disdainful of you. Right? Like as he helps you down, like he actually like helps you down in a way that is a little too helpful that you could tell, like, the drow should not be, like, actually making certain you've got your footing, right? And he shouldn't be going out of his way to make certain that you're ready to be pulled off before he pulls you Yeah. Like, like huh. he's being a nice guy here, and that, that's notable. Uh, Jorlan is the fighter one, right? He's just fucking with yeah, us. Yeah, Jor 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 Jorlan is the experienced fighter, yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I had the name straight. Yep. 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 Uh, and, uh, and so, like, he, he cuts the princess down, and then, uh, and then, uh, sure, the cocksure, young, good-looking yeah, fighter. Yeah, the cocksure. Yeah, the cocksure. That's sure, cock. Uh, Wait. He busts out the whip, cracks his... Come on, back to the pens, let's go. Oh, I'm gonna grab a stupid fucking whip, but I'm gonna go with a stupid pen. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll, he'll crack the whip and send you back to the pen, and that night, we're gonna kick up with, we're gonna kick up with dream sequences before the game really starts. Because there's not enough foreshadowing yet. I got yet. my rope. I got my rope, and I'm going to dangle that bitch over the spiders. Right. That's what's going to happen. Right. <laughs> All right, so. I got I, plans for you. <laughs> it's top of the hour. All right.